hey what's up welcome to my channel it's been a while so thank you to my subscribers for sticking around this far and if you're new here welcome karibu sana my name is doris i enjoy making videos on bullet journaling and other random stuff that i can come up with um i hope you enjoyed this video remember to smash the like button comment and maybe subscribe if you're new and remember to hit that notification bell on your right next to the subscribe button so that you can get notified every time I post a video. So I start off by saying goodbye to May and I'm doing this by just lettering good goodbye May and just incorporating my May theme though I did not post it. I had a, a, a May theme of going back to school so I have there some flowers and some random books flying around and I thought it was a good combo. So. That's what I have over there, and it is my first page of June. The whole June idea uh, theme is on a birthday theme, so I enjoyed putting these banners up. And then I just have a few balloons floating around and some confetti. I have a few birthdays this month of people that I really do care for, and I thought I would honor that, and I thought the theme was kind of really cute and I enjoy making it a lot. monthly I just used my usual grid I'm much comfortable with this one I am reluctant to try something else especially for this uh, notebook but yeah the grids are six by five if you're curious to know the dimensions that's what I'm doing up there and then I'll just uh, go ahead and add the decorations uh, as you can tell I'm using the, the light colors first before I add in the dark colors because I do not want the black color to over what do we say to overshadow the the brightness so I'm just going ahead over here and adding the place marks for the dates and then add my title with black and then add the dates in black as well in the place marks and finally add a quote at the bottom so it did not end up as good as I thought it would, but hey, I just let that one go. Finally, I'm just adding my social trackers for YouTube and Instagram. Next is my habit tracker. This layout seems to work best for this notebook, though super tedious. And like I mentioned in a previous bullet journal setup, I think it was in February, I mentioned that the lines are just don't match from page to page. And so I had to find a way to create a a habit tracker that could accommodate me with this one so this one seemed to work best I also found this inspiration from someone I also mentioned in the other video uh, so if you'd like to know much detail about it you can visit the other video I'll also link it up at the top right corner if you are interested to check that one out as well
for my mood track I just have my title and my balloon date place marks and a legend something super simple uh, I will enjoy seeing the colors pop from this one at the end of it I just can't wait to see the end result next it's my gratitude log super simple just a title some few balloons just like that it is important to practice gratitude next I have a cute quote for my baby whose birthday also happens to be this month and I thought it was a cute one I found this from Pinterest and I really do enjoy finding quotes from Pinterest they're just amazing I'll be using two pages for my brain dump. I just seem to have so much going on in my brain this past few months and one page does not do. So two pages it is. A few confetti floating all over and some balloons and yep, yeah, just like that. Then my daily and weekly task trackers follow something to ensure I do my chores when I need to. Believe me, this is a work in progress. I'm still working on this, but hey, it is really good and satisfying to see that I've crossed out a task and it just makes me happy. So I keep on making these pages in hope that one day I'll be able to crush it every single day. My meal plan page this helps when getting groceries just because I have an idea of the meals I need to prepare and what I already have in my pantry and what I need to purchase from Soko or from the market or from the supermarket wherever you get your groceries from it is really a good tool to have this planned out way in advance at least weekly Have another quote for my baby just because it's it's cute and it also gives me a break from all the to do's that I do have finally I have my first week of June and I'm trying something new and I really do enjoy the freedom in creating however I want the weeklies and I really do play a lot with this ones and if you follow me on social media especially on Instagram you'll be able to see all the, the spreads that I do so I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, bye. I'll leave you with the flip through. So enjoy.